me. I just posted a video of me and this blue wig, honey. Y'all remember this? This wig that I bought that I thought was gonna be black with a little bit of blue in it and it turned out to be like Cookie Monster blue <laughs> all around. So I sprayed it, I sprayed the roots and made them dark. And uh, yeah, I tried to work with it because I love the texture of it. Just the color is not, is not right. And that helped some. I do like the fact that it has dark roots now, but I got to work on the styling situation because in that video that I just recently posted, I had some struggle styles on there. You know, truth be told, I thought it was okay when I was looking in the mirror and I was recording the video. And then when I started, editing and putting it together, I was like, oh no, 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 this is not the jam. So I let that video sit for four months, something like that. I, I, I just, I was like, okay, this is footage I'll never use. This wig has been sitting in my closet on a little wig stand for four months. I had been wearing uh, my own hair braided just as a protective style. And I, sometimes I would just, you know, I would wear, I, most often I would just put it in a, a, a bun right on top of my head. Or sometimes I would wear wigs or I put on a ponytail. But basically I was just keeping the ends protected so that, you know, I'm just letting it grow now. Here, let me show you. I, so I had my hair braided for a long time, like for maybe maybe a month. I braided my hair and when it would get ratty looking around here, I would redo these braids, but I wouldn't do the, redo the braids in the center. So these had been done for a long time. They'd been washed several times. I didn't anticipate taking down my own hair would take such a long time. I think it took me, took me about two and a half, maybe close to three hours. So I was, I was up later than I intended. I'm still trying to recover from my, my cold. Uh, I feel so much better, but a sister needs her rest. <laughs> and I had to get up this morning and go to an audition. So I, I unbraided my hair, I pineappled it, I went to bed, and when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, this matches that wig texture. Let me see what I can do with this. I don't, why is it so cloudy over on, that side of the video. Is that the sun? What's happening here? Well, that didn't, that didn't help, did it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess it's struggle style and struggle video. I don't know what's happening. Anywho, y'all can see me, right? <laughs> so, okay. So my hair is... Uh, it looks like the texture of the wig, just about. So I'm like, you know what? Why don't I pull that wig out of the closet and try and work with it? So instead of um, y'all watching me create this struggle style, <laughs> create another struggle style, because I'm sure you've seen enough of that, I'm just going to put the wig on. I'm going to put it, I'm going to part my hair here, put it behind my hairline, and um, we'll see if that works out better. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So my own hair, I just, I pulled up, I put a, put a clip on it. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can see it. Wait, let me, let me turn all the way around. So you can get the full effect. I'm still not sure how I feel about this. Hang on. Can you see? I think I could wear this style as long as I wear it with confidence, you know, you know. You can pretty much pull off anything if you're <laughs> I'm sitting on this ball. If you're confident about it, you can do anything. I could turn this thing into a mohawk and be like, yeah, I look good, so what? I think it's okay. <sighs> it's not what I wanted from this wig. Um, I think the textures match, match so much better. Yeah, let me tilt this. I'm just having problems today. Yeah, so I would wear this. I I don't think it's the most flattering hairstyle. Am I am I being too hard on myself and this little wig, this little blue wig? Please tell me what you think, because I honestly don't know. I think I could wear it. You know, it's it's it looks almost normal, but it's like a little pop of surprise color in the back when I turn around. So I think I can do that. I don't know that this whole thing is the best look for me because I already have like an 
oblong oval shaped head and this just gives you know makes it longer and gives me the the cone head effect but maybe if I smooth it down or sometimes what I'll do to minimize that is I'll put a headband here and then that way it frame it creates a frame for my face and then my hair is back here doing its own things but but with my hair like this my head is just like whoo, you know cone head time so I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna show you how I've done this wig See, I parted, I already had a part here from when my hair was braided, but I parted across here and across here. I didn't even put my hair in a bun. So my hair is still down in the back. And I literally just, there's a comb here and a comb there. And I literally just stuck this wig on. Now, I would, if I were to go out in public like this, I would pin it. Oh, maybe it looks, wait a minute, wait a minute. Could this be a happy accident? Hang on, honey. Ooh, child. Yes, I think I can. I don't know about that. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. This is like old school Shaka Khan. I kind of like it. Maybe if, if I... I'm not, I ain't spraying nothing else. I just, I don't want to do that much. I don't know. Is it okay? Maybe it's okay. Here, let me turn around with it like this. I haven't seen the back like this yet, so it may just be trouble and strife when I turn around. Y'all, let me know. And if you have any suggestions for what I'm going to do with this wig, or what I should do with this wig, please. Leave it in the comment section. I, I I want to be able to wear this. I I do. I like I like the color up to a point. It needs some black with it. So either my hair or I need to do something else with it. But I want to be able to wear this. Now the thing about me. Uh, I don't, wait, did I turn around? I didn't turn around. Ugh. Okay. So I don't know what it looks like in the back right now. But that's this is this is what we got going on. Almost fell off the ball. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, y'all y'all help, help a sister out. But since I have my own hair down in the back, oh, I didn't bring a ponytail holder, but maybe since this is what started this all off, and me being interested in this wig was watching another YouTuber who had her hair in a ponytail with this wig on and it looked really cute. I mean, I could, I think I could do that, right? Right, it's kind of like, I wore my hair like this in the 80s. <laughs> Everything old is new again, <laughs> that's what they say anyway. Okay, yeah, so tell me what you think. Tell me if there's any, any hope for this wig. I, I wanna love it, like I want it to work out. Sometimes things don't work out though. So y'all let me know. And I will put this wig back in its packaging for now. All right. <laughs> I will see you soon. Bye.